went in and without any pain, I was like, okay, I'll keep on doing it. And then once, you know, a mile became a 10 K it's like, well, I don't really want to give up now unless something started hurting. And, uh, so I just kind of, you know, I had some music on playing on the, on uh, Pandora listening to that. And I don't normally listen to music when I run, but it was working. So it just kind of went from there. Forrester tells us that he plans on running in the Marine Corps Marathon this fall, assuming that race still happens. If not, well, I guess he could always do another driveway marathon. Now I need your imagination. Picture yourself with a hot dog, a cold brew, and a seat behind home plate. You see, today was supposed to be the home opener for our World Series champion Nats. But that's where the imagination comes in. To celebrate the ball game from the balcony, I'll let our Dave Scarnato take it from here. My wife and I traveled to Italy together and we were so struck by the Italians singing from their balconies, brought tears to our eyes. And one evening, uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, well, if the Italians can do something morale lifting like singing from the balcony, we can too. And let's do it in conjunction with what would have been the Nats home opener. I love our community here, and I saw a lot of neighbors from the neighborhood coming. We might have been a little bit off key, but in our hearts, <laughs> we had a lot of spirit. It was almost like it was opening day, not quite, no game, but we were there and we, we enjoyed being part of something. I'm just looking forward to having them defend their world championship again. Uh, it's one of the best things that ever happened to the city of Washington. I mean, in these terrible times, to have something uplifting and happy like this, I think will help a lot of people. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. What have been a great opening day in terms of the weather, right, Top? A little, uh, a little windy, but other than that, yeah, spectacular. And you know what? I like their spirit. That, that's good stuff. We need to keep We have to do going. that sort of stuff uh, yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll talk about uh, the winds tomorrow and the temperatures. want to just talk about one thing real quickly. I know you're tired, but just check this out. So the commercial airline industry is pretty much shut down. What does that mean for weather? Well, believe it or not, we actually rely on the commercial pilots to actually send in observations. In fact, let's say we got a plane going from L.A. over to, uh, say, Atlanta. Well, they send back over hundreds of thousands of daily reports every day and that helps us predict the position of the jet stream. The jet stream, after all, is, is the railroad track highs and low pressures move on. So we're okay. We have satellites now replacing a lot of that data, but we still do miss the actual observations of pilots and actual wind speeds and heights. In fact, World War II, that's when we discovered the jet stream because airplanes went high enough to get caught in the jet stream. Okay, hope you're still awake. I don't know, it's kind of interesting, a little nerdy, whatever. All right, tomorrow, windy. Uh, more clouds tomorrow, uh, so a little bit blustery, not quite as picture perfect as today. A stray shower on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, don't plan around it. It's still going to be an okay weekend. Just make plans if you want to get outside. Temperature-wise, we're going up slowly but surely. 60 tomorrow, low 60s Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday, mid to upper 60s on Monday. We should be around 70 uh, on Tuesday. Okay. So the weekend, stray shower, 62 on Saturday and 64 on Sunday. That's Actually, pretty good for our first weekend in April. Winds, though, are going to be pretty crazy tomorrow morning. Winds could gust to 41 miles per hour out toward Luray and in the upper 30s downtown. And then by the time we get to, say, 10, 15, 10 o'clock, winds could gust again, 43 miles per hour in Luray. This is a snapshot. It's also a forecast. So it may be a little overdone, but even if they gust to 30, it's going to be a windy day tomorrow. Now, by afternoon and evening, they calm down a bit. Winds gusting anywhere from 20 to about 25 miles per hour. So hang on to your hat again tomorrow. And again, it won't feel quite as warm as it is because of those winds. So 60 tomorrow, low 60s on Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday, stray shower, no worries. Monday, a little better chance of showers late. And then 70 on Tuesday with some showers, maybe even a thunderstorm on Wednesday. We're in the mid 70s and then we're back to 70 on Thursday, but pleasant. D. I'm Darren Haynes in the National